Well, hello everyone. So I just thought I'd put together a, a quick video because I've had a few people asking me about the move from URP back down to SRP or the standard built-in uh, render pipeline for Unity. Now I decided to do this because I was having some issues with URP. So this video isn't about SRP is better than URP or URP is better than SRP. That's that's not the point. But there's a lot of information out there about going from SRP or built in up to URP. But there's not much about going back down from the universal render pipeline into the built in. So that this video aims to help with that and just uh, provide a bit of clarification on the process of doing it. Now, just a bit of info to explain why I did this in Lamora. I can give you a demonstration here. So this is the URP version of my project. And to be fair, I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Um, the lighting is pretty good. But I was hitting an issue where the lights weren't working. And then they were. And then they weren't. And then they were. And there's an issue. I say an issue. There's a limit in the universal render pipeline that means that we can only have eight lights per object per pixel. And that setting is here against the universal render pipeline profile. So I've got one here. So this is my high quality one. And we can see this section here, additional lights and per object limit. Now we're, we're hard coded to a limit of eight here. Now, even if I was to change this to, let's say 508, it always resets back down to the the eight you can't have any more and you can see as I'm lowering this the lights are sort of turned off and on basically because it can only have so many lights affecting these objects and that's why you see this light coming on and coming off because when I'm out here we've got more lights affecting this area now let's take a look at the built-in the SRP and we'll see the difference so now, obviously, the lighting is different because I've worked on it in a different way. Uh, we're missing a bit of the hologram there. But the point is, I've got consistent lighting. So if we just look around all of this, I don't have the same issue that I was having with the, the amount of lights. So that is the reason that I chose to move from the universal render pipeline down to the standard. So it's quite a straightforward process. So all we need to do is go to Edit, Project Settings. Then we go up to Graphics and we remove this profile from the scriptable render pipeline settings. So we click in that field and just tap Backspace and it's cleared it. We, we know it's worked because things have gone pink in the background. Then we do the same in Quality and we click in the Rendering and we click Backspace. Now, as I said, we know this has worked because everything is now pink. And the reason it's pink is because we've removed the universal render pipeline, it doesn't know how to use the shaders that are attached to the materials. So if we were to click somewhere, here for instance on one of the floor pieces, we can see in our inspector that we do have a material assigned. So we click the material. We can see they're pink in here as well. So that means that it definitely hasn't got the the right shader there so let's click on this one and we see at the top it's got the universal render pipeline lit shader now that's not right we've removed URP so that doesn't work anymore so what we do we click that and in most cases we'll change it to standard and we can see there that that's worked so that one now shows its correct material but these other ones don't so let's select those and again so we'll just we won't select those ones for now. We'll just keep these ones because we know they're the same. That's an interesting point to make that if that ever shows a line, we can see they're actually they're not all the same. So try and select all the ones that are the same. So in this case, they're all the URP lit and we'll change those to standard as well. And now we can see that most other things have started working. So what about these ones then? We can see that these are shady graph shader graphs, polygon, spaceship, rim, URP. So they're clearly not right because we don't have URP anymore. So this one's lit again, so we can change that to standard. Oops. Unity UI playing up there. So we change that one to standard there. And 
these two here we need to change them to something else so in this case we're actually looking for the Cinti Studio and we're looking for spaceship rim there we go now we can see that those have got their materials now interestingly you would have noticed that that's just flicked over to have its material now that's because it's decided to re-import the material so if we to if we select it and in our inspector click on the materials now we'll notice they're still pink here but that's because they're cached but we can see the material is okay on there so that's fine but what it's done is basically if you right click and click re-import that will essentially force them to re-import and it will sort the texture out now we do still have some over here that are pink so let's take a look at those so fx hood so that one doesn't have the right shader either and this is the case now it's just the case of going through changing all of these to the correct shader so if we were to click on these we can see generally a lot of these are staying okay now sometimes all these might go pink for you automatically so that makes life a lot easier but other ones won't so again let's use the same principle of if that stays the same as lit we know they're the same shader and we can set them all to standard so we'll click so it seems so far that all of these are the render pipeline lit so we'll change them all to standard and there we go we've now got those working and we've got our shelf over here again the same principle find the material and these ones are all set to the lit or oh, there's a different one in there somewhere yeah so that one again is the triplaner so we can go on this one and go to Cinti and we pick pick one of the triplaner ones and then we can set the rest of these to standard so I'm not going to go through and do this for all of the materials I've got but it does demonstrate the point of what we need to do to get this from URP back down to the built-in render pipeline so once we've gone through and we've changed all of the the materials over to use the correct shader as we have here we mustn't forget to actually remove the URP package and we can see that in here it's in packages and it's under the universal render pipeline universal RP now it's important that we actually remove this from the project because if we don't when we try and build it will still try and build all of those URP shaders so what we do we go to window package manager we'll have to give it a moment and we click in project and in here we've got universal render pipeline and at that point we just click remove it will then remove it from the project and it will re-import all of the assets within the project so I'm not going to click this now because it will take too long but it's just to make the point that that also needs doing that's the final step that you need to do now if you do that before removing all of the materials there's a chance that it might actually reassign the standard shader to all of those materials anyway so if you want to try and do that before reassigning all the shaders on the materials it might save a little bit of work but I can only emphasize at this point make sure you do a backup before you do anything on this it took me two attempts to get this working properly so thankfully I'd done a backup first so I could actually go back to the proper version and get it sorted there are ways to repair it it is just the case of reassigning the materials and the profiles against the graphics and quality but we don't want to be going back on ourselves if we can avoid it can't we it's worth mentioning as well that I have had a number of people ask me about how I've got the lighting how I have in Lamora so I will be doing a follow-up tutorial at some point about the lighting settings I'm using and how I've got to this point because if you've seen in any of my other devlogs it's been quite a long journey of me learning how to do the lighting and I'm at the point now where I really like it but the main tip I can give at this point is ambient occlusion it just makes such a big difference I mean we can see as I flick between these two here at the moment so if we look between the URP version and the standard render pipeline version the ambient occlusion in there makes such a big difference you see here we can see the walls are quite flat but then we move down to this the ambient occlusion really puts the edges on and it really makes it really it just makes it pop in my mind I really like it but as I say I will be doing a follow-up video for that one so again if that's something that you're interested in just let me know 
I'm quite happy to carry on creating content like this if it's what people want. So leave a comment, smash the like button, hit subscribe if it's something you're interested in, and we'll get another video out soon. So we'll see you in the next one.